structure. Now we're going to go a little more deeply into something that we talked about for the past three or four slides. We're going to talk about metric unit prefixes. If you don't know what a prefix is, it's just a piece of a word that comes at the beginning of the word and has the same meaning no matter what word it's attached to. The example I have shows the two letters D and E at the beginning of two words. Those two letters are a prefix and they have the same basic meaning even though they're attached to two different words. In this case, the letters D, E, pronounced D, mean to take something away from something else. So, for example, D value means to take away value from something. And D construct literally means to take away the construction of something. Or, uh, less, form, uh, less literally, to dismantle something. So, that's a prefix. And the metric system can use prefixes in its units. Many of these prefixes you've already seen. Before we get to the details of the prefixes, I want to ask why does the metric system have prefixes at all for its units? Well, to answer this question, we need to ask a couple of thought exercises, or ask a couple of thought questions. I'm going to answer these questions for myself, but it might be helpful for you to answer them for yourself as well. First question is, how tall am I? Well, I'm about 5 feet 10 inches tall, or using the metric system, I'm about 1.8 meters tall. So, no big shocker there. The second question is, how far is it from where I live to the nearest grocery store? Um, according to me, it, it's 126,720 inches to the nearest grocery store. Hopefully, you realize that it's a little bit strange to tell someone the distance to the grocery store using inches. You can do it. You can describe the distance to the grocery store in inches, but almost no one ever does. It's more common, it, it's more common to give the distance to the store in miles. But why don't people use inches for the distance to the store? The reason that no one ever gives the distance to the store in inches is because you end up using very large numbers that are somewhat difficult for the human mind to wrap itself around. If the store is two miles away, you know how much two is, and you roughly know how much a mile is. But it's harder for the, for the human mind to get a sense of what 127,000 of something is. So, what we humans have done instead is we've developed a system where when we measure something and the numbers we get are really big, or if they're really small, we group the numbers together and change the units so that we end up with a more understandable number. So we don't tell the neighbors that it's 127,000 inches to the store. We group the inches together into feet. And then even, even feet are, you end up having too many feet to describe how far it is to the store. So you group the feet into miles and then we tell the people that it's actually about two miles to the store because that's easier on the brain. Well, the metric system uses groups its units too on occasion, but the metric system groups its units by using prefixes in front of the names of, uh, of the units to group them if the numbers have gotten too big or too small. We talked about the metric system using the meter to measure length, but if you're measuring a distance that's much bigger than a meter, you talk about kilometers or kilometers. Kilo is the prefix that means 1,000 of whatever the, un whatever the base unit is. So one kilometer is 1,000 meters laid end to end. So 1,000 meters is one kilometer. And typically, if you were using the metric system, you would tell people the distance to the grocery store using kilometers. You wouldn't describe the distance using meters. There are also times when you want to measure things that are much smaller than one meter in length. Here you have many choices. You can break the meter into a hundred even pieces, and the units in that case are centimeters. Centi is the prefix that means break the base unit into a hundred even pieces. You can break the meter into a thousand even pieces, and the units are then millimeters. Milli is the prefix that means break the base unit into a thousand even pieces. I should point out that one millimeter is about the thickness of a dime. If you're measuring the length of something that's uh, even much tinier than the thickness of a dime, something that's uh, really tiny, like the size of a, of a bacterial cell, you can break the meter into a million even pieces. And each of these pieces is called a micrometer. Sometimes people will informally call a micrometer a micron, but it means the same thing. And many bacterial cells are about one micrometer in length. I should point out that there are other prefixes as well, but the ones that I'm showing you here are covering uh, the, most common, the, the most common ones, the ones that you'll find most often. The nice thing about the metric system is that the prefixes we just covered work for all of the units. 
if you're talking about the mass or weight of something and the mass is uh, much more than a single gram, then you can talk about groups of thousands of grams. And each, thousand, each group of 1,000 grams is called a kilogram. If you're talking about the mass of something really tiny, you might break the gram into a million even pieces, and you would measure the mass in micrograms. In the metric system, the prefixes do the same thing no matter what they're attached to. So just to emphasize here, What's the purpose of having prefixes for metric units? Well, the prefixes modify the numbers, so uh, the modify the numbers that you're measuring so that they're easier for the human mind to understand. You could say that it's 127,000 inches to the store, or you could say that it's 3,218 meters to the store, but 3,000 is still a little bit rough on the brain. So you group the meters together and you say that it's a little bit more than three kilometers to the store and that's easier for the human mind to understand. So that's it for metric prefixes. Uh, I, want you, I want you to memorize what kilo, milli, and micro mean.